Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode. Um, let's see, so we were learning about the history of Rubit City. Yeah. <laughs> Check other sources of, to confirm Rubit City's history. Well, only like one person really tells me in here. So what's this pointing at then? I mean, if this just tells me to go back through the doorway, then... Yep, it does. <sighs> Hassle that the, uh... All these doors are directly above each other. Nope. Cool, 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 cool. Um... This one? Oh no. Good. Guess I'll go through every single door. Here. Oh yeah, this lady was a douchebag hey, to me. Hey Belle. What the hell do you want? History? What? Not enough shit around here? <sighs> Don't know. Huh. Why that lying son of a bitch? He wasn't even born when I got here. Want to know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead or gone. Oh. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. Okay, well... Huh. Okay, so she just told me that he's over there. But that doesn't really mean I can get into it. That means I have to figure out a way to get into the, uh... No, 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 no. Not here. I'm trying to... Hmm. I guess I'm stupid. Again. Wow, who would I guess? I'm looking for troublemakers, have you seen any? So I'll go this way. Oh, that was the right door. So, I gotta, like figure out how to get through the door over here. Not really sure how to do that. Also, this area is really dangerous. The uh, back half of River City. Or maybe it's the front half? I don't know. I'm not a boat man. Don't know about them boats. Come on, jump out of the water. Like a little dolphin man. Okay. Pretty sure I need better lock picking to get into this. Wait, hold on. What? It's still telling me to go back that way. Oh. There's a little magic trick. Wow, look at that. I don't have to walk over there. That's crazy. Okay. Wait, what? What is this pointing me at? Oh, I keep pressing M. Okay, so I get over to that half, and then it tells me to come back here. I don't know what it wants from me. But I can't pick that lock. Unless there's another way in. I kind of just always went through that doorway. This is telling me that I can maybe get in through another passage. Oh man. <gasps> what? How have I never found this? That's actually kind of crazy because I, I thought I'd. Oh, I'm going to start drowning. I can't see a dang thing. I can't believe I've never been back here before. That's so crazy. I've... I've been everywhere. Floating places you're not supposed to be able to live to get to.
Man, that's crazy. I, I can't believe that there was actually a way into that. Oh, hey, pal. Please don't touch me. Alright. Perfect. Audio sounded weird for a second. Hey pal, you might not do what your buddy did. Okay, well I guess I guess we're just gonna No, it's fine. We're lucky that it was just regular viral arcs and not uh hunters. Nice. Dang it. Way. Okay. Also, I got like radiation poisoning, so let's go ahead and clear that up. Yay! Also, I'm gonna save. Man, I thought that was a book. I was like sick. Okay. Hmm. I will take those. Thank you. Oh. Ugh. I pressed E on it and I didn't get to press it in time. Damn. At least it was my face and not my legs. Probably get some money out of those. Also, I can probably put my gun away since uh, I'm pretty sure those were the only two dudes in here. I've kicked that really violently. Okay. Yeah, 3 XP. Okay, what is that like? Uh, I don't know what's happening. Okay, it's probably fine. Oh, that was weird. Hmm. I feel like there should be more traps around. There's gotta be more traps. Oh, wait, do I have a concussion? I guess my head did blow up. I thought that there was something in the air. And I was like, oh, oh. Guess not. Sick. Probably not always a good idea to just press random buttons in the area you're in, but it's fine. Hey, man. What's up, man? How you doing, man? How the hell did you get in here? That is not a voice that fits you. I suppose you. you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. That doesn't. This is the what? part where Those you tell me what the hell you are doing, bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Um. Um. So this is history. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going. Uh, you're the only one who knows the truth about Road City's founding, but you've been here so long, you must know something. Hopefully, it's very important for the book to put Like I care website. what you savages read. Okay, well, I'll say the other one then. Ha! Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. I'm surprised any of those reprobates even remember me. I don't even know what that Maybe they still laugh about Sounds how they insulting. edged me out of the council back then. But you can set the record straight. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. 
We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. So, you used to be in charge? How did you end up here? That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell, if I'm leaving the city, I made great. Okay, why don't you just live in the actual city, dog? Um, Who cares? Okay. It's some hydroponics pipe dream that Lee's been working on forever. Waste of time and effort, I say. Apparently, though, my teams cared more about it than they did about little things like defense systems or making this ship float again. Treacherous bastards, all of them. Got any evidence there, pal? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here. They probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. What are you doing I here, live here, It's where I do my work. And it's far away from Dr. Lee and all those other monkeys dressed up like scientists. You made it past my defenses, which proves you aren't a dummy. And you haven't killed me. So I suppose you aren't here to do that. I could. I suppose you can hang around if you want. Just don't touch anything. I am going to have to steal that book. Uh, the big book of science off your table. The secret kind. Okay. Well, if you must know, I'm an electrician and computer expert. And I'm a bit of a surgeon. Really, the most gifted scientist you You're really find. annoying. <laughs> I'm the guy that got Rivet City up and running in the first place. And after all that, Lee and her gang of flunkies pushed me out. Ha! <laughs> Project Purity, indeed. But a bunch of morons. They can't even clean some water. Okay, Don't let goodbye. your guard down. I'm not going to do crime. Don't look at me. I'm watching you. You're not looking. No. Not doing anything. Dean's electronics. And the big book of science. Hey, can you go like somewhere else so I can steal your stuff? I don't normally steal things, but uh getting free skill points is actually really important, so skill points is the best thing. Hello. Hey man, you should like look Stay at me. sharp. They're e they're everywhere. Yeah. Oh no, I stole it. Oh. Okay. Yeah, screw you, Pinkerton. I don't care. I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. No, I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. I'm not a, I'm not a crime guy. I don't do crime. I'm Dilbert. Two big books of science? Oh my gosh. My science is ooh, 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 ooh. it's it's really good. Okay, well. I guess I'll come back here later. Also notes. Zimmer. By the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the Retention Bureau to come after me, 
but I know all the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. Yeah, you tell him, man. Yeah, you tell him. Okay, let's go home. Uh, oops, nope, wrong map. Bonk. Sick. That was easy. I thought it was going to take longer. I thought I would have to figure out like where to find a key for that. But um, no, that worked out quite well. Didn't even know that I could go through that way. Maybe I did at one point, but definitely don't remember that now. Uh, ooh. Yes. Oh, just a little bit of, just a little bit of it back. Um, take that. And I think I'm good. Pretty sure I've got some meds I can put in here. I don't really need all of that. Okay. Oh, well, weird. Hey, Wadsworth. Cool. And then, uh, so twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure eight anyway. I always forget if it's seven or eight when the store is open, so I'm just gonna start getting up at eight. Alright, cool, epic, sick. I should really get the whatever it's called. My first I oh. wish there were more people like you in the world. I want you to have this. I hope it helps keep you safe. Thanks. Certainly. It's the least I could do after all you've done. Yeah, I'm pretty great. Although I'm only like a level 9, and I haven't really done that much. I guess I saved this town from that nuke over there. I wonder if somebody shot it if it would still like blow up the town. I don't see why it wouldn't. Hey Moira, I have to take something from you. If you're listening to this recording, it is because you're believed to be trustworthy. I hope that is the case, because this recording puts us both in danger. I'm escaping from the Commonwealth. I'm an android, a synthetic man, a slave. The men hunting me are ruthless and will stop at nothing to retrieve their property. I need to find a doctor in the wasteland to perform facial reconstruction. I also need someone who knows a great deal about computers. I need... I need to have my memories erased and my face altered to look like someone else. Hi. Okay, cool. Any luck finding out how rivets... Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. After a lot of searching, I got the real uh -huh. history. Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it! Uh, it began as a research station, which is why it's still a scientific haven. Hmm. With the protected location and resources that came from those scientific advances, I can definitely see how it grew so quickly. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Is it men's hats? Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear what? from them in the future. What? That's crazy. My research for your book is completed, isn't yes, it? Yes, that concludes our exceptional expert endeavor. I have to admit, I was worried it would go over some people's heads, but it should be fine. For all your hard work, I want you to have this mini nuke. Oh, thanks. I kept meaning to use it to dig a well, but honestly, it just makes me nervous. Now, I just need to do a few last tweaks, and it'll be ready to print and distribute. Thanks for all the help. Uh. Um, 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 um. So cynical. No, no. I can take care of all that with the few traders I know. 
What makes you think I'd force you to handle something so dangerous? Now you should just I lie back and bask in the praise for helping with the book. Uh, oh okay. my! It's it's brilliant. Even I'm astounded by my genius. Oh no no no! It's more than that. By our genius. Yippee. I'll share these with the traders, and soon everyone will know about the Wasteland Survival Guide. But now, the very first copy of our book goes to you. It wouldn't nearly be as good without your input. You're the real Wasteland Survival Guru. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. I know I'm pretty epic. As a result of the, your painstaking research for the Wasteland Survival Guide, your survival skills have improved. Don't know what that means. I guess they sent those tapes to lots of people, especially people like me who are interested in technology. Boy, I wish androids were real, though. Yeah, that'd be crazy. Let's see what you have to say. Abs. Um. Oh yeah, my first infirmary, very important item. Um, you can use it to get rid of broken limbs and heal yourself, and also um. Get rid of radiation poisoning, which you can do two of those things with just sleeping, but that's okay. I don't need this many Vintats, but they don't weigh anything, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, bye. Alright, epic, cool. We did the Wasteland Survival Guide. Matter expert Dilbert. Wait, oh, lead author in subject matter expert. Assistant author. Oh, why she put herself as the assistant author? She kind of wrote the book. I mean, I just. Um, I never actually read this. I didn't notice that she put herself as the assistant and not, you know, the main. This indispensable guidebook contains everything the survivor in the wasteland could need to know. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Um. Every page contains a gem of brilliant insight into how to survive in the wastes, thrive among its denizens, and revive your survivor community. This brilliant tome not only conveys vital information for the here and now, but presents it so, in, in such an intelligent manner that readers are inspired for the future. That's cool. I wonder if it says different things for when you, um, when you use different, like, persuasion techniques. I'm iffy on doing this one right now because of the, uh, there's like a section in the game that plays music that you can't really control, so... I'm like nervous that it's gonna get my entire video copyright struck. Hmm. Could do that. But that has no locations, so. I don't think I'm nearly strong enough to do stealing independence. And I don't think I have enough. Um, oh, here. When you suffer from... Oh wait, no, that's... No, I want survival guru. You gain 6% bonus resistance to poison, radiation, and 6 points in both the science and medicine skills. What? Dude, that's crazy. <gasps> Look, I have level 80 science. That means I can pick... I can... Uh, not pick. I can hack uh, hard terminals. That's pretty cool. My medicine is 52 now, so that's cool. I didn't realize that that had done that. I wonder if it gives you different things for different uh, ways that you go about the book. I'm sure that you probably wouldn't get like all those bonuses if you didn't do the bonus. <clears throat> Sorry, the bonus parts of the book. Like taking increased damage or whatever. Wasteland Survival Guide. Oh yeah. I... Okay, well now I, I really don't know what quest to do. I don't think I'm ready to do stealing independence. I really don't have good enough weapons. 
I could do aiding the outcasts, but that... I don't think I'm good enough for that either. Definitely not good enough for Not of This World or The Pit. I don't like this DLC. Um, I guess I should just... I guess I'll go see what I can find out about Dad. Nope. Show location. Alright, cool. Probably the other gun. Alright, okay, okay. You know, ever since I got my computer upgraded, it actually doesn't suck anymore. Where are you going, buddy? You're right in front of me. How do I have a 62% chance of shooting you in the face? Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh boy, are you guys ready for this? Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually not too bad. <clears throat> well, I was wrong. The S's match, and that's it. Just the S's. The one of the F's matches. The, an A matches. <laughs> Nothing matches. The eyes match. Okay, so that's five out of... Hey! Wow, it just takes like a moment of thinking to do that and... Surprise! Um, I did it real easily that time. Um... Ew, alcohol, gross, cringe, I would never do- oh, okay. Pork and beans. Right away, oh, ammo. Instamash, ammo, garbo gun, sledgehammer. Um, a plunger and a safe for some reason. I don't know if that's a reference to something or not. Okay. Ooh. That is an extremely uncomfortable bathroom stall. But alright. Sometimes there's loot in the toilets. Don't don't judge me for looking. Hello, bad boys. No, I don't wear my bones. That's not cool. Hey, pal, chill, 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 chill. chill. Grenades on you? Yeah, you do. Hello, bad boys. Please do not hurt me. I swear, when you're looking down the sights, you shoot slower. Here, I accidentally picked this up. You can take that, buddy. I really love the this shotgun. It's so good. Oh, this is just a demo. Okay. Well, um... I guess I can't squeeze back there, so I gotta walk all the way back around. Hey dog, you need to chill the fuck out. And I need to hit my shots. 
Wait, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Alright, okay. I am almost out of shotgun shells. Back to the, uh, the 9 mil. I mean the 10 mil, sorry. 9 mil is not in this game. But there was, a. Uh... Audio logs in here. I guess it's right here. Five, eight, ten. Even on Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a vault -like facility after all. This was built the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist, leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that night in the overseer's office. I first learned of Braun's involvement in Voltex's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. Okay, next. Pretty just... The Gek oh. sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Braun's capabilities. It was nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. Some day I discovered Bruin's name on the reservation list for Vault 112. Oh, I'm hurting. I'm trying to listen to my dad talk here, man. Syringe, no medics. Okay, more cringe. I already had a number eight. I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone. In her place is my son, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without his mother. That was the whole thing? It's time to go. The project was in trouble before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere, and because the mutant attacks occur several times a day. I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, no! If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? No! my child before my own. Oh. 
Command melee weapons are actually really good. I don't know why I don't. Uh... I mean, I knew that they were good in New Vegas. I just um, don't ever remember trying to use them in this one. Besides the shish kebab, anyway. Butter knife, garbage, trash. Can't use that right now. Okay. Hello, it is me. Oh, no, you're not in here. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! Wow, his face is messed up. Oh. His face is really messed up. James! Now? We really shouldn't. This big fellow's stupid, dumb body needs to get out of the way. I know it's just a 10 mil, but I want it. Yeah, get out of the way, buddy. spent that time in the vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe. That's all I could have hoped for. Now, my son is a grown man. Handsome, intelligent, <laughs> confident. I don't know about handsome there, dog. I look like a, I look like a runner. Wants to admit it, he doesn't need his daddy anymore. So, here I am. Father. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. I'll serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Yeah, the last entry that I found. Lee, Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? Hold up, hold up, father. Got her own life, her own team, that's making real, tangible, scientific progress. In what? Here I come again, the very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she has assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna slap some of these fellows together and sell them. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, nice. Well, it actually fixed all of them to the same amount. Decided like... to check out the. Sh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see what I have for sale. What, what you have for sale? But you know, I'm I'm gonna sell stuff. <laughs> Raffle. Pretty sure I don't need any of that stuff that I have. So, Ooh, recon armor is really good. 16 armor. What am I wearing? Talon. Talon? Not Talon. I always say Talon. I don't even know why. It doesn't even. It's not even what's. It's like, why? Thanks, dog. I would love the recon armor, but. Um, 
it's okay. Alright. Um let's go ahead. How f oh, I've not gone very far out. Tempany Tower was like the furthest that I'd gone. I think I always sell go to Tempany Tower. Could find my dad, but uh tell Tenpenny he can kiss my ass. We've got plenty of bottle caps. Let me in, goddammit. How many times do we have to go through this? You're not getting in. I can stand here all day yelling at you through this damn speaker if I have to. I've already told you Tenpenny won't allow zombies to live here. Who the hell are you calling a zombie? You're definitely not human, that's for damn sure. For the last time, no zombies allowed. Can't you tell the difference between me and a feral? Fine. I'll show you the goddamn difference. Just you wait. You'll get yours, all of you. What are you looking at? Oh, well, I guess not you, douchebag. I told you to get the hell out of here. Tenpenny doesn't want your goddamn caps. And I don't want the goddamn headache. For the last time, get your rotten, ugly, goddamn ghoul ass off Mr. Tenpenny's private property. <laughs> Is that how you call your guests? What? No, just those damn ghouls. Sorry, thought you were one of them. Ghoul or not, I must inform you that you are trespassing on Alistair Tenpenny's private property. Renters and official business only. Um... Uh, take care of the little ghoul problem. So, and why should I believe that? You ever kill a ghoul before? Um, kill so many ghouls to start counting. Is that so? Then I'm sure you can handle yourself out there in the wake. Okay, you're a douchebag. <sighs> take a hundred caps, I, I guess. Fit in around here better than I thought. Don't bother Tenpenny or the other residents. If you so Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome to Tenpenny. Thank you, Stavo. Don't do anything stupid. Alright. Oh, wait. Uh, I don't know if I can go in there, actually. Because um, it plays music, and I don't know if that music is copyrighted either. Man, I can't sleep in these beds. Come on, man. Get off. I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. I'm scared that if I go in there, I'm gonna have to I'm about another copyright claim. For your entertainment. It's so annoying. It's so stupid that they do that. For a channel that doesn't like make money or um like I uh, like it it I don't I don't get it. It's just dumb. Okay, well, I'm gonna go over here first and get this location found. Nice. And then this other location, I'm going to get found as well, or discovered, I don't know why I'm saying found like that, that's dumb. Come on, come on, let's go over that location. We'll do the Tepany Tower quest another time, I think. Okay. Come on, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Okay. Gotcha. Douchebag. Okay. Well, where are we in comparison to... Okay, it's like up north. Got it. I suppose I could do either. I suppose I should probably actually make campaign progress, because I've been doing a bunch of side stuff. I'm also, I'm also almost dead. But, um, 
actually, I think I'm going to end it here. Because it is, it's really late again. Hey, what's that? Ah, no thanks. Okay, well, yeah, I'm going to end it here. We'll pick it up again uh, in the next video. Uh, if you guys like the... Wait, how do I do my outro? Um, if you guys like the video, leave a like, share the video with your friends, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.